NDBs are vital components of aviation navigation, providing pilots with reliable and accurate navigational information. At the core of the NDB system is the non-directional beacon, a ground-based radio transmitter that emits continuous signals in all directions. These signals are received by aircraft equipped with an automatic direction finder, ADF. The NDB system operates on medium frequency, MF bands, typically between 190 and 535 kilohertz. It is primarily used for en route navigation and approaches at non-precision instrument landing airports. Another use for NDB systems are on FPSOs, which are often fitted with a helideck that is supplied with a NDB system. The NDB system is used as a homing beacon for helicopters transporting workers and supplies. This becomes essential during bad weather in the deep seas, where the helideck may not be visible to the pilot, but the NDB system could be used to safely land. The main components include the transmitter, antenna system, and monitoring equipment. The transmitter generates the radio frequency signal, while the antenna system radiates the signal into space. To ensure the accuracy and reliability of the NDB system, regular monitoring is essential. This is accomplished through monitoring equipment that checks the integrity of the transmitted signal, ensuring it meets regulatory standards. Non-directional beacons continue to play a crucial role in aviation, especially in areas where other navigation aids might be limited. They provide pilots with reliable and cost-effective navigation options. Equipped with an ADF instrument, pilots can receive and interpret the NDB signals. The ADF instrument displays the relative bearing to the NDB station. To determine the direction of the NDB station, pilots tune the ADF instrument to the frequency of the desired NDB. The instrument then compares the received signal strength from the NDB station's antenna and its built-in sense antenna. By calculating the relative strength of the two signals, the ADF instrument determines the bearing to the NDB station, allowing pilots to navigate accurately. During flight, pilots can use the bearing information provided by the ADF instrument to track their progress along a specific route. By comparing the bearing to the NDB station with the intended route, pilots can make necessary course corrections. The installation of an NDB system is a critical step in ensuring the safe and efficient navigation of vessels around the FPSO. Let's explore the installation process. The key areas where the NDB system components will be installed on the FPSO vessel are the navigation bridge, the equipment room, and the external antenna installation location. The navigation bridge serves as the control center for the NDB system. It houses the control panel and the display unit, allowing the crew to monitor and adjust the NDB parameters. The equipment room accommodates the NDB transmitter and associated power supply and monitoring equipment. The first step is to secure the NDB transmitter in the equipment room. It is essential to mount the transmitter securely to minimize vibrations and ensure reliable operation. Once the transmitter is in place, the next step is to connect it to the power supply. This ensures that the transmitter receives the necessary electrical power for operation. Proper electrical connections and grounding are critical for safety and system performance. With the transmitter installed and powered, the next step is to set up the external antenna. The antenna should be located in an unobstructed area on the FPSO structure, ensuring maximum signal transmission and reception. One of the most important installation considerations is to make sure the NDB antenna is not near any other radios, such as MF, HF radios, that could result in interference and cause the NDB system to shut down. Once the antenna is mounted securely, it needs to be connected to the transmitter using high-quality coaxial cables. These cables transmit the NDB signal from the transmitter to the antenna, allowing it to be radiated into space. After completing the physical installation, the next step is to configure and calibrate the NDB system. This involves adjusting the transmitter's frequency, power output, and modulation parameters to meet regulatory requirements and optimize system performance. Once the NDB system is configured and calibrated, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its proper functioning. Various tests, including signal strength measurements and system integrity checks, are conducted to verify the system's compliance with standards. With the installation, configuration, and testing complete, the NDB system is now ready for operational use. It provides reliable navigational references, contributing to the safety and efficiency of aviation and offshore operations.